So long story short, I I haven't told anybody this. <laughs> Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Manny Kate. And today, I'm not gonna be eating all this. <laughs> um, we are doing a mukbang. I just found out today it's actually pronounced mukbang. So we're doing a mukbang, um, obviously a KFC one. So Saturday night, it is almost 6 p.m. I have not eaten anything all day. So I'm on, I wanna say like an 18 hour fast at this point. So I have been saving my calorie intake for this meal. I've actually been losing weight lately as well, so I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start with the little package, which is a drink. I don't drink pop, but uh, when I have guests, I like to have options for them. And my little smoky barbecue sauces for my popcorn chicken. I think I'm gonna grab a fork. Getting fancy, we've even grabbed a plate. My hair is still wet. I just got out of the shower, got ready. I'm actually filming, I think like four videos this weekend. So this is like in between videos. Um, so I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat and just kind of talk to you guys and check in. I haven't done a sit down and chit chat with me video in so long. Um, and I'm very pale right now because I am gonna spray tan tonight. I feel like I should tie my hair up for this video so I don't get food in my hair or my hair in my food. Okay, so we have the bun. So now let's get into the food. So excited, I ordered so much. Okay, I totally forgot I ordered that much food. We're just gonna do it. So here it goes. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. The first thing I got is this little box. So this is the four piece um, meal. So this is a little macaroni salad. I got an individual fry, a biscuit, and these are four of the chicken tenders, which I really, really like. And then I got, oh my God. I got a lot of food. So this is the six piece box and I always only get the dark meat. And it's like, I don't like more unhealthy, but it is what it is. This is my popcorn chicken, the famous popcorn chicken. I love when there's like leftover in the bag. And then I had to get a gravy. I got a corn. Oh my God. Why is there two gravies in here? Okay, that's disgusting. Okay, well I got two gravies by accident, so that is totally my fault. And we have our water, of course with a straw. I drink everything with a straw. So let's get into the video. I don't even know what I wanna eat first. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little plate. I'm just gonna talk to you guys and let you know what I've been up to. And there's one thing in particular I really, really wanna talk about, which I need to know, you guys please comment below if you do this, if you have done this. Um, I talked about it a little bit on my Instagram story. I'm gonna put like a bit of each thing on my plate. That's what I usually do. So manifestation, I, I have no words. Um, I never thought that it was a thing as much as it is, but girl, it like, this thing works. This thing is like, it works. So basically, I've never tried this macaroni salad. I don't know if it looks gross. Um, basically, I have been manifesting things and they have all been coming true so I feel like it's kind of like the law of attraction and what you want out of life you put out there and I'll share an anecdote with you guys I'm just going in this is obviously my cheat day mm. so good obviously my cheat night um, I'm not going anywhere I'm staying home Saturday night, just doing me, 
living my own life, living my best life with my food. <laughs> like this video if you can relate. <laughs> so I had in, I think in January, followed, um, if anyone knows Paulina Baragova, I think that's how you say her name, PB Bunny 97 I think, on YouTube. I've been following her for years. I think she was like in grade 8 when she was making videos and I found her on YouTube somehow at the beginning of YouTube and I started following her. Mm. Show with the veggies. When YouTube was first started, or when she first started on YouTube, and she was doing hauls and makeup and stuff and now she does um like readings and i don't even know how to describe it but it's kind of like rituals and shots about crystals and healing and those types of videos um and if you follow her on instagram you see that she has all these like healing um i guess rituals that's what you would call them and they're all on her website and you can order uh, like you can buy a class and you can participate in a class so long story short i i haven't told anybody this so i have participated in one of her classes and it was called <laughs> it's gonna sound like a little cheesy but it was called manifest your man so i had been single for about a year and a bit a year and a bit and in january I actually bought her class, I think, in December. But in January, I um, I manned up and I did her class. And I was kind of teeter-tottering, teeter is that the word? Um, I wasn't sure if I should do it and I felt cheesy. But I had bought it. So I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I've been single for a while. I've been enjoying life. Literally living my best life. Um, hanging out with my friends and just kind of getting to know myself and what I like. I think I lied. I've, I was single for a year and a half or two years. Oh, I'm not like that. So anyways, it was a while and I was, you know, having my own fun and just figuring out who I am um, because I've always been in really long-term relationships, like five years, four years, a year and a half, way too long. So, mm, too long with those people, I should say. So, Gucci has joined me, in case you guys didn't notice. So, as I was saying, I chose to do her class, um, and it was kind of like, not a promise, but it was kind of like what you will get out of this class, and it was figuring out what kind of man you want. And I wasn't sure about the timeline, um, I didn't really set one, but I kind of put out there the kind of person that I wanted to attract, um, which was the basis of the course. So it was really, really informative. I got to know myself a lot through it. I think it was like an hour and a half or two hours. And I wrote things down. She recommends to get a notebook and a pen and write things down and take this paper and put it somewhere specific in your house that she mentions. I'm not going to say too much in case you guys are you know, curious and you want to buy the class, um, I highly, highly recommend it. It's the only class I've done, but I would totally do another one. So, um, yeah, so I wrote these things down and it was kind of putting it out there. So about a month passed and I met my now boyfriend and he is literally everything I've been looking for. Um, I'm going to talk about him like a little bit more in the future um, but in the moment I I'm kind of not keeping him a secret but I'm we're, we're still private so our friends know our families know um, but I like what we have right now and I don't want to I don't want to put it out there too much so anyways I highly recommend it that's kind of like what my story was but from then on so since about January, we're in October, I've been putting things out there and they have been like coming true. And I just can't, like, it's just, it's just crazy. It's literally insane that I can talk about something or think of something. 
as I put it out there, the universe is like, okay, I got you. So one thing I've been doing since the end of August is actually journaling. I used to do it a lot when I was younger. These tenders are to die for. So I did it when I was younger um, and I stopped reading as well. I stopped reading when I was younger. So since August, I was journaling. I have been I should say, journaling every single day. Um, I wrote down a list of my goals and the things that I want to accomplish. And I did a five-year plan. And so far, it's like going really, really well. Um, I feel like when you write something down physically, like I didn't want to do it like on my phone or anything, but I did it on paper with a pen, obviously. Um, but when you physically write something down with your hand, I feel like it just sticks with you better. Like when I would study, I would do the same thing. And I feel like I would memorize or it would just stick in my brain better. So having those goals written down physically by hand, it was kind of like, like these are actually gonna, I'm actually gonna work towards these and make them happen. Um, so I don't know, I just kind of remember them better. And when I, you know, see something or hear of an opportunity, that is aligned with my goals I it's like it's there's like a bell that goes off almost that's like this is the path that you should take you know keep doing this you're like oh remember this goal like this is an opportunity like this is just it's like they like come to me I don't know if they just come to me more or if I recognize them more I don't know it's kind of like that thing with like if you're looking for signs like of a loved one that's passed away you're gonna find signs but if you're close-minded to the signs you're not gonna see anything Kind of like that. Mm. KFC is definitely my go-to cheat meal. Um, I've lost a lot of weight actually in the last, I want to say in the last year. I've lost a lot of weight in the last two years for sure. Um, so I allow myself one cheat meal per week and this is obviously it all week. I eat healthy, I eat homemade, um, and I do intermittent fasting. So those are my tricks, if you guys are wondering. I have an entire video on my intermittent fasting and tips and tricks. If you guys are interested, I think I made it about a year and a half ago. Um, it talks about like what you're allowed to eat and different apps that I use. Oh my gosh, the skin is literally like the best part. <laughs> Apparently in the States, you can get just the chicken skin at KFC. Mm. I wanna like marry this meal. So I've also started reading again, which I wasn't ad adverse, is that the word? I wasn't like opposed to reading. I just found it kind of boring. Because when I was little, my grandma would make me read before bed and I would fall asleep. So that's kind of how I like calmed down before bed and just sat there and she would either read me stories or I would read them myself when I got to an age that I could read. Um, and then I would fall asleep. So whenever I would read, I would get kind of bored. But I remember for the longest time when I was younger, I would read all the time, like all the time. I wouldn't watch TV, I would read. And um, my mom would always ask me like, different things about the book or like what I learned or just like why I loved reading so much and I remember telling her and she told me this the other day when I told her about these books that I've been reading she told me that I told her one time which I vividly remember that I loved reading because I could escape and go into another world and when I read it I can like imagine it in my head and imagine the characters and what they look like and it's kind of like a movie in my head so I don't know if you guys are thinking about reading you're not sure I highly recommend it um, I was kind of holding off for like the perfect book I was asking my friends for book recommendations I've asked you guys on Instagram um, and I couldn't find the like the perfect book to start reading again with and I wanted I wanted like something educational, informative, kind of like a, a self-help book. I didn't want like a fiction, I didn't want a story. I wanted something that I would learn something about myself because I'm just kind of getting back into those self-care things. So I found it actually on Saweetie's Instagram story. 
Um, so I guess she has a friend that's an author, Robert Greene. He's a very famous author. Um, and the book I'm reading right now is called The Laws of Human Nature. So it's basically about how people or why people do the things they do. Um, so it's very psychology based. So if you know a bit about psychology, you will love it. You're, you're really going to understand it. And even if you don't, it's a good, um, it's written really, not basic, but it's very well explained and very well detailed that if you don't know anything about psychology, you kind of get to know about it. Um, so it's easy to understand and I actually read it on my iPad so I do it through the books app and then if I don't understand a word because I'm French so most of my reading in my life has been in French but obviously I'm bilingual but some words are still like a little fancy for me so if you click on it you get the Google definition that pops up so that's really cool so that's kind of like a trick if you want to get a better vocabulary if you do it on like a Kindle or on the App Store, um, like the Books app, you can get definitions. You don't have to like look them up separately. So I like that. And I also like that you can highlight on the Books app. I think on Kindle too, you can highlight the word or you can write notes. So I just highlight the first word of like the page I'm on. <laughs> In case I go back into like the chapters or if I, like I change books or something, um, I know exactly where I ended off. So that is a little bit about my reading. And I really, really like it. I usually do it at nighttime, um, not like right before bed, because I don't want to like induce sleep. <laughs> um, but I do it instead of watching TV like after supper or if I'm just hanging out in between whatever, like if I have plans with someone and I have like a few hours to kill um, instead of just like sitting there on my phone I'll read so I don't know I really really like it I'm happy I'm getting back into it it just feels good something with my brain I feel like especially through the pandemic I'm not sure what I want especially through the pandemic it's just kind of been the same activities over and over so I don't know I'm switching it up it feels good I'm in a really good place. A lot of changes are coming. A lot of changes are happening. I've also manifested um, some sponsorships that I have gotten. And um, there's a few more that are on the way. So I don't wanna say too much, but um, the sponsorship I did with Popo, I kind of manifested that. Uh, and if you guys are wondering what that is, I have a whole video about it. It's an electronic business card and I have a code for 20% off. So it's really worth it. Um, what else did I manifest? There's just like a lot of things coming, especially this weekend. You guys will see in the coming days and coming weeks. Um, just kind of like everything I've been doing, I guess. Um, so I'm kind of diving deep into that and then filming. I don't want to post like a video a day. I kind of post them. I'm trying to post the video every second day or every third day. So there's a lot of content <laughs> being created this weekend and with editing and stuff, it'll come out in the next few weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I'm not sure if this video will come out before my story time, but I do have a crazy story time. Um, so I've asked you guys today on Instagram what you wanted. So I am filming both today, but I'll see which one I post first. So. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Brunette Princess, but it's basically a story time about Trisha Paytas, which like iconic, literally. So if you guys are interested, check that out. Um, and if it's not out by the time I post this, stay tuned. Another thing I've manifested that you guys can actually help me with <laughs> is 2,000 subscribers in October. So by the end of the month, it is October 9th while I'm filming this. Or October 10th, I'm not sure. It's Saturday. I think we're October 9th. Um, so by the end of the month, I've manifested having 2,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you guys would like to help me out with that, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Um, and I'm also doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. And I'm trying to make it like... I don't know if I like a higher priced item or like just like a different item than my 1000 subscriber giveaway. So that one um, was a $100 prepaid Visa card 
And this next one, I'm not sure what to give away. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think is a good 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I think I've eaten about one sixteenth of my meal. Um, but I'm saving this for my boyfriend later. You know, obviously we'll have leftovers. So, I don't know. So much food. <laughs> my eyes are always a lot bigger than my stomach. So, I always order enough for like six people. So this is just like bomb. The bomb.com. Mm. The biscuit. <laughs> I'm falling apart. Has to be the best part. I don't even know what I want. I'm gonna go in with a popcorn chicken with the barbecue. Mm. And there's gravy mixed in. It's so good. What if I should do some ASMR videos? Would you guys like that? If I did ASMR. ASMR eating videos. Or ASMR with like my fake nails. Do you like an ASMR video? I don't know. And if you guys want me to do some live streaming, I can also do that. I talked about it in my last video about how I did a live TikTok stream. I'm not even sure how to eat this. <laughs> mm. So delicious. So I did a live TikTok stream. I actually got a lot of people on. I think total was like 6,000 people or something came through. So it was really, really nice. It was very interactive. Um, I was being asked questions. I was just talking to you guys so it was actually a lot of fun i think it was a friday night or something so it was literally just hanging out with tiktok and i gained a lot of subscribers from it so if you're from that crew hello shout out um i talked to people from all over the world there's from people from italy there's people from the netherlands germany france australia a lot of australia um so I don't know, that's what I like about TikTok, is that if you're just scrolling, scrolling through, it's kind of just like random videos, like it can be from anywhere in the world. So, I don't know, it's really, really cool. If you guys are interested, my TikTok is linked down below, it's just at Brunette Princess. It's usually what I go by, um, except for on Snapchat. On Snapchat, it's just my full name, Amanda Kate Tracy. So if you want to add me there. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for today's video. I literally can't eat anymore. I still have all this chicken left. I still have these three pieces, half of my fries, um, all this corn, all this popcorn chicken, my two things of gravy, and a um, spilled one, and the macaroni salad was a no for me. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to do more mukbangs, definitely like this video and let me know in the comment section what you would like me to eat. This is just like my go-to cheat meal, so that is what I ordered for today, but I'm happy to try different types of foods, different restaurants that you guys recommend, so let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification. All of my socials are linked down below if you want to follow me, follow up with me, keep up. And I have a million discount codes if you guys want to make money or save money. Check them out. They're all in my description. And as always, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.